Hi, this is Dee Dee with Prexion. What I'm going to show you in this video is how to trace the mandibular canal and also how to place an implant. So the first thing you want to do when you're in the main screen is just rotate the skull so that you are got the area facing you where you want to place the implant. Now I'm going to hold down the Alt key and then just click in the area of where I want to place the implant and do the nerve tracing. So this will jump all three of your views here, your axial, coronal, and your sagittal to that area. Now I want to just define that area a little bit closer by holding down Alt, and then over here on the upper left, I'm going to just click right over the center of the arch. Now things are more centered. The next thing you want to do is take the little dot that is on this blue purple line and then rotate it so that this line runs parallel to the arch so that now you're looking at a direct sagittal view on the lower right. And then you'll see as I scroll, you can bring in and out the view of the nerve canal. So now I'm going to take the green line and move it to the anterior until I see the um, mental frame pop up right here on the lower left. And you can see that right here. So next thing I'm going to do is go over to IMP on the upper right, planning, M canal, and new. So this is to trace the canal. I'm holding down the control key right now. And I'm going to just click right down in the canal. You can start outside or you can just start right in the canal. And you can see it already popped up over here. This canal seems to have a little bit of a loop. So I'm going to hold down control still and just click to draw in the loop. And then now I'm going to start going posterior and just tracing throughout the canal. If you lose the view, just scroll. And you'll see now I can see it more. So you just keep scrolling and clicking throughout to trace the canal. Now you can see the drawing coming up in here where we've traced the canal. If you hold down your left and your right click at the same time, that's your window leveling. It'll just bring the canal more into view. So now to place an implant, I'm going to hold down Alt and click again right in the area of where I want to place the implant. And I'm going to go over to implant, new, and my implant library will pop up. I only have BioHorizons in here, but you can have whatever library you are using. If you don't see your brand of implants in here, call our support. And if we have the files for that library, they'd be more than happy to install them for you. So I'm going to just choose, I'm going to randomly pick one. I'll just pick this one. I just double clicked. So now to move the, can, the implant, when you see the hand is when you can physically move the implant around. To rotate it, and sometimes these crosshairs get in the way. To remove them, go to the upper right here, to this little box here that says Enable Disable Cross Cursor, and that'll remove those. So to tip the implant, I'm going to just click on this little star. And then if I want to tip it buccal lingual, I'm just going to come over here. So I'm going to adjust it and then just tip it in the direction I want to. Now I'm just scrolling and now you can see where the nerve canal is in relation to the implant. So to measure that distance, I'm going to double click, click on the ruler, click on distance, and then I'm going to click and drag from the end of the implant to the nerve canal. And we can see that tells us it's about three millimeters. I'll double click to get out of there. So let's say, I'm gonna turn off my ruler here now. And then let's say we wanna place an implant on the anterior here. I'm gonna hold down Alt, click in the 3D. And you can see I don't have my crosshairs, that's because we had turned them off, so I'm gonna turn them back on. Holding down Alt again, I'm going to click right over the center now. Clicking in the 3D just gets you in the closer area. Now this will get you right over the area where you want to be. Okay, if I want to see a direct facial view, right down here, I just rotated this purple line. So now to place an implant, I'll just go to New, and I'll choose an implant. 
And the same thing, you could just move it. You can move it in your sagittal view here and you can tip it. If you put in the implant, decide you want a longer or a shorter implant, just click on replace and then you can choose the other length or diameter of implant that you would like. And that is how easy it is to place an implant. Thanks for watching.